Okay, so for this lesson today, I'm going to look at the to what extent IELTS essay question type. Um, now, for this purpose, I'm going to use an essay um, sent by a student, and I'm going to use a model and some other bits and pieces which you will see. So, um, the to what extent essay, it's an opinion essay. If we see this uh, example here, a typical question. With all the troubles in the world today, money spent on space exploration is a complete waste. The money could be better spent on other things. To what extent do you agree or disagree? And every essay says, you should write at least 250 words and give reasons and examples from your own knowledge and experience. Okay, now, um, let's take a look at the criteria before I comment on the essay. Let me just get my pen out. So, you may have seen this. Um, this table is available in every book every IELTS book and on the British Council IELTS web uh, sites. As you can see, we've got four components, uh, each of which are worth a quarter of your total score. So your grammar, accuracy and range, lexis, your vocabulary, coherence, cohesion and task achievement. And we've got the band scores down the left hand side. Now most of my students are aiming for seven and above so this is where we'll start. So now um, some of the main um, issues that my students tend to have is that they focus too much on the grammar and the lexis but not enough on the coherence and the and the, the cohesion part and the task achievement part. That is to, to say, um, quite a lot of them don't really have any idea about what the examiners are looking for and they don't have a strategy uh, to give them what they are looking for. Now, while your grammar and vocabulary are obviously important, it's only 50% of your total score and you are allowed to make a certain number of mistakes and you can still get 7, 7.5, 8, 8.5, I mean, you know, as we can see here. Basically, 50% of your sentences need to be without a mistake. To get 8, a majority, so if you write a typical four paragraph essay with, I don't know, 12, 13, 14 sentences, you would need a majority, so if it's a 14 uh, sentences, you would need 8, 9, 10 without a mistake to get 8 and above. If we consider your vocabulary, again, we can have some occasional errors and you can still get 7, 7.58 rare errors. So, obviously, you know, um, the less mistakes you make, obviously, the better it will be. But most people don't take into account cohe uh, coherence, cohesion and task achievement. Now, the coherence and cohesion part basically refers to the logical organization of your information and ideas, as it says here. Logically organized information and ideas. A clear progression a clear central topic in every paragraph. So it's all about, do you paragraph? So for a typical essay, four paragraphs, maybe five. So you've got your introduction, your body, two, three, maybe four, conclusion. And that's it. But it's, but it's also about, if we look at the key words here, sequences, information, and ideas in a logical way logical organization information a clear progression one central topic so this could mean something like saying so um let's think of an example um 
so for your paragraphs okay main idea drinking beer is great sentence two a reason every time i drink beer i feel fantastic sentence three an example for example last night i had some beer and i felt great sentence four as a consequence i can therefore say that drinking beer is really good now obviously that's a bit of a simplistic example and we have some <laughs> have some better ones in a moment but that's a general idea of what that means by that logical sequence this leads to this leads to this leads to that and again we'll take a look at some examples in a second now why we need a sorry <clears throat> why we need a clear central topic in other words one main idea is if we go to the task achievement part now so we have to address all parts of the task so what that basically means as you know as we've seen every essay says write 250 words and give reasons and examples so if you don't write 250 words but more often it's people do not give specific reasons and examples to back up what they say so if you have a clear central topic one main idea as in my example drinking beer is great then what you do you present it extend it and support it with reasons and examples okay so we also need a clear position throughout the uh, throughout the essay throughout the response um, for this essay it's an opinion essay to what extent do you agree or not so you would need to make your position crystal clear all the way throughout the essay I think I agree I disagree etc okay so for your task achievement as we can see here the better you support and extend your ideas the higher marks you'll pick up for task achievement so that's the criteria in general now let's have a look at um, a structure that we might use for this now there isn't just one you know there's several different way of course you know uh, there's quite a number of of different ways and structures all of which would get you a, a high score seven eight nine but this is just one and the the components are pretty much identical in that they match what the criteria is calling for a logical organization of information and ideas sequence logic a progression so um, we'll start with the introduction then first always a good a good place to start now a good introduction is very important you know first impressions count so what you can do for every essay question type I usually recommend that you paraphrase the question you restate the topic okay sentence two what's your thesis what's your main idea you know it, it says to what extent do you agree or not so this would have to be clear now sentence number three this is one that people often don't include it's uh, sorry <clears throat> it's an outline what are you gonna be be writing about what's the essay about in other words your main idea one for paragraph two main idea two for paragraph three so you basically only need two main ideas you know for paragraph two and um, a three as the criteria says a clear central topic just one main idea but we need to develop it support it and extend it 
So that's the structure for the introduction. One, two, oops, yeah, sorry, one, two, and uh, three. Obviously, you can combine sentence two and three and even one, but the, the essential components, you have to restate the question, say what you think, and tell the examiner, reader, me, what is going on. So let's have a look. This is the question. With all the troubles in the world today, money spent on space exploration is a waste. The money could be better spent. So do you agree? So with most of the essays, sentence one is the, the context. The actual question is usually in sentence two. So it's asking, how far do you agree or not that this money could be better spent? So that's what it's asking. Now, okay, here's an essay someone wrote. Let's have a look at it. So introduction, we need a, a clear restatement of the question. We need a clear opinion and we need to find out what the author is talking about. Okay, um, so the space exploration may be considered an incredible modern way to invest money, not a completely useless, expansive project. Well, um, some grammatical mistakes, of course. We don't need an article. Space exploration may be considered. Well, is it considered? Maybe. Mm, okay, an incredible modern way to invest money. Slightly awkward, but not grammatically incorrect not a completely useless expansive project so look at the question money spent well complete ways compared to spent so that's not too bad that's not bad so fundamentally i utterly disagree with the statement which people commonly used to agree with fundamentally uh, i utterly disagree well that's rather over exaggerating things just a, a simple I disagree or it can be a, a be a disagreed would be fine with the statement which people commonly used to agree with well that doesn't make a lot of sense if it means the statement that we've just seen okay then we need an outline the clear explanation is that the spreading popular thoughts, mm, slightly awkward, are concerned about short-term short -term troubles. What's, what are those exactly? Without taking a wider look at the global scenario. Now, this is a bit of a rather general, a bit of a, a generalization. Um, Oh, the generalize. What's he talking about? I'm not, you know, it's not very clear. I'm not quite sure what what that means. Uh, hmm. Okay. In fact, people usually complain about the high cost of energy supplies, of energy supplies, the rise incidence of human disease, polluted, terrifying environment impact of toxic and radioactive waste. Um, so we've got a few different ideas there. But in terms of a clear, logical introduction, it's not very good. It doesn't really say what the essay is about. So let's have a look at um, a better one. Okay. So if we remember the structure, sentence one, we paraphrase the question. Sentence two, opinion. Sentence three, what's the outline? So where are we? Okay. Now, you can do it in third person or in first. Use a mixture. It's not important. All that is important is that we have a clear uh, position throughout the response. So, it could be argued that spending money on the exploration of outer space is wasteful. Given the many problems on Earth which need to be solved. So that pretty much restates the topic. Okay. Now we need a clear opinion.
opinion. I totally agree hmm, with this view. Right. And we'll argue, firstly, that space exploration has produced no tangible benefits so far. In other words, it's been a bit of a waste. And secondly, that the Earth needs to solve its problems first before reaching out to pollute other worlds, to before reaching out, mm, get rid of that, yes, before reaching out to other worlds. So we've got a restatement of a topic, clear opinion, and we've got two main ideas. Space exploration hasn't produced any benefits. Secondly, the Earth needs to solve out its problems first before we go to outer space. Okay, that's, you know, that's not bad. That's an introduction. So, what do we need for a paragraph? Paragraph two and three. Well, um, as I explained in my earlier <laughs> rather simple um, idea, drinking beer is good for this reason. Here's an example, etc. So, your topic sentence, your main idea, number one. Okay, explain it, expand on it, give a reason. Example, now the more specific, the better. And we'll see what that means in a moment. Then sentence four, now some people like to make a balance and they put a concession sentence. However, despite the fact, although, etc. Or you can just reinforce your example, your main idea. It depends on... If you can think of anything, you know, you're uh, under pressure, um, you're running out of time, maybe it's a topic you don't know a lot about, you can't think of anything. So, you know, having something that either reinforces or, again, if your example is a good one, you might not need to explain it. But if it's not, then you might need... Uh, a sentence to explain what it means exactly and it's the same for paragraph um, three also so let's have a look at the previous one so although uh, uh, oh, okay now you probably see here that this essay um, it's very difficult to to work out what is uh, is going on I'm not sure if you know what should be in a paragraph or not it's not as clear as it could be you know so you're paragraphing you know coherence and cohesion um, you would be losing marks unless you have paragraphs you know so introduction paragraph two three four so it's it makes it easy for the examiner um so this essay here i'm not really sure where or what is going on well so all of the gravity of these issues could help to support the thesis regarding the waste of economical funds that's rather a long-winded way of um uh, saying it's a waste of money according to a lack of a strictly specific focus on them I'm not sure what that means Massive advantages could ensue in the long term, thanks to the amazing features of new discoveries throughout the universe. Now, that's a sentence, and it's quite a long sentence. We've got four clauses. Oh, is it fine? One, two, three, four clauses. We only need two in a sentence, really. So I think the main idea is that... Um, there's some possible advantage in the long term uh, discovering new things. Okay, so what we would need then would be a sentence to explain what that means exactly. Okay, new chemical elements which would be brought or could will become a fantastic sustainable source of energy. What exactly? It's rather general, it's rather vague. What does that mean? What elements? Okay. In order to enhance its productivity, uh, to what does it refer as a pronoun? 
or span thoroughly its demand. Uh, I'm not sure what that means. In substitute. You know, substitution of fossil fuels, which are, as a renowned warning evaluation claimed, in the shortage. So this renowned warning evaluation. So this is something like a example. Now, um, the more specific your examples are, the better it will be, as we'll see in a second. Consequently, not only the cost of a supply will drop, environmental impact, the pollution will show a drastic fall, less disease. I'm not sure what's that got to do with anything. Furthermore, um, so we've got a few different ideas here. So it's not clear in terms of paragraphing. And we've got several ideas, but it's very general. There's no detail. So let's have a, a look at... Uh, the example now uh, so main idea if you remember from the introduction main idea one space exploration has produced no benefits so far right so the benefit uh, I'm sorry the benefits of outer space exploration so far have produced very little results um, Hmm, let's change that. Outer space, um, yeah, make that a little better. Outer space exploration has so far produced very little results. Okay, then we need to expand on it. Sending men to the moon and rockets to the outer planets has not had any significant impact on world peace or conflict. Resolution to name one mage a problem. Okay. Now, for example, the NASA expenditure on space exploration was some $4 trillion, yet still the world is embroiled in conflict, terrorism, and various wars around the world. Hmm. So despite the massive expense, we still do not have a stable planet. So now this is what I was uh, talking about or referring to about this logical organization, a progression, a sequence. You can see we've got main idea, outer space hasn't produced any results, explain it. Sending men to the moon, it's not had any impact on world peace, say. Spending uh, four trillion dollars, yet still we've got conflict, terrorism, war, blah blah blah. So, despite this, we don't have a stable world. So, in terms of of structure, of organisation, that's not too bad. You know, we've got this leads to this leads to this leads to this. Okay, uh, paragraph three, the structure's identical. Main idea two, if you remember, the Earth needs to solve its problems first. Okay. Additionally, it could be said that before reaching out to other potential worlds, we need to resolve our earthly problems first. Right. If we consider how disease, hunger and poverty blight the lives of billions of people, how can we justify spending such immense amounts of cash on an uncertain outcome? So we're turning it now because the, you know, uh, the question says, do we agree that it could be spent on something better? And we're saying, actually, yes, it could. So, uh, for example, so we've got a specific one here, a disease. The American Cancer Research Foundation has estimated that $100 million would be needed to fund its study into a cure for cancer. Okay. This research could potentially save millions of lives yet medical research programs are underfunded diverting a fraction of the total space expenditure four trillion dollars uh, could have very real effects for many people's lives so that's not bad so we've connected this with main idea uh, one in paragraph two so we have a clear position 
throughout the response. Okay. Um, now, what's the conclusion? The point is, widening our sites could bring the world to become a better place, managing and resolving critical issues which are apparently loosely connected to the space exploration. Now, what we need to do is, sentence one, restate the question and your main ideas. Sentence two, you can make a suggestion, a recommendation, if you've mentioned it, but no new ideas. So if we consider the example, in conclusion, I believe space exploration budget should be cut as it's shown no tangible benefit to solving the world's problems and could be better spent. I would suggest that if a world's population wants to waste money, they should fund it themselves via public donations. Uh, instead of leave the tax money to be spent on more urgent matters. Hmm. So that's not bad. That's not too bad at all. In terms of organization and structure, we've got a clearly laid out essay. This is what I think. Let's look at the structure again. This is the question. I agree. I or disagree. Uh, I'm going to talk about this and this. Then your topic sentence, explain it, example, reinforce it, etc. Conclusion, restate what you've said. So that's it. Essentially, that's what we need. That's what we need to do. So there's some grammar and vocab here, but the main thing here really that would that would cost this essay a lot of marks is basically the organization. I mean, there's no use of paragraphs, right? So look, may not write in paragraphs or paragraphing may be inadequate. That's a five, All right? Present some main ideas, but they're not sufficiently developed and there may be some irrelevance. Sounds like uh, it sounds like that essay. So that's it's basically five. So they would, uh, you know, um, expresses a position, but the development is not as clear as it could be. So basically, um, that essay would only pull five for task achievement, cohesion, and and the coherence parts. Vocabs, the grammar a little better. You know, you probably get six because it doesn't really impede the communication, not too much. But in general, we'd we'd be looking about maybe five five point five for that essay in total. Okay, well that's um, that's it for this particular lesson. Um, if you have any comments, any questions, you can uh, send me a message. The links are underneath. Okay, thanks.